not going to sing. <laughs> I'm not going to sing, I said. <laughs> so, it's like, a, it's becoming more like a talent show now. Um, so, I'm Congressman Amash. I don't have we done, have you done an intro? Okay. I will, I'll just start. We got it. It would be great if you played the piano. All right, so I'm Congressman Amash, and thank you for being here at, uh, at this town hall. I think this is fantastic that we have such a big crowd. Um, if there, so it seems like there are still some empty seats in here. Can we, can we bring more people in or no? I can charge multiple at a time. I got like the gas Yes. <laughs> because the people, oh I see. I think they're counting the people standing as, um, as filling the seats essentially. So the fire code limits who we can have in here in terms of numbers. But um, I think we're gonna have to get a bigger, uh, a bigger auditorium next time. So we'll be. That's what they were saying. I think they're going handle next time. We, we will. Uh, we'll try to figure that out for next time. Uh, a place that will um, have the capacity to to fit everyone. We'll Fernando Arena. <laughs> Something like that. The last place. So, let me just uh, start by saying, um, if you have uh, any concerns about um, things that are happening in your personal life, like you have an immigration issue, or a veterans issue, or um, any other sort of issue that is affecting you, you're not receiving your Social Security benefits, or uh, you're having problems with Medicare, you can always contact our office to help you with that. So if you contact our office in Grand Rapids and ask for um, Catherine, who is my district director, Catherine right there, oh. she can yeah, try to assist you with those better. things. And um, we've been able to help uh, with a variety of issues. Uh, sometimes people have uh, someone trying to come in uh, as an immigrant and they need some help from our office. Or there, you might have a father or grandfather who was supposed to be awarded a uh, medal from the government for uh, his or her service in war. Uh, we can try to help you get that. So uh, please feel free to contact our office and we'll, we will definitely try to assist you with those things. So now to the town hall. I think <coughs> it is critical that members of Congress hold in-person town halls like this. There aren't enough people on either side of the aisle who do it. I was looking at a list uh, across the country, and there aren't that many people who are doing it, frankly. And, and that's a shame, because we can learn a lot from people who come to our town halls. I think it, it goes both ways. I can provide some information about what I'm doing and my positions on things, so that you can have a better understanding of uh, how I'm representing you. And you can provide input to me so I can understand what your concerns are. And if you're not doing this in person, um, seeing people face to face and, and having these um, unscreened questions like we have here, then you don't get a good sense for what people believe. So I think it's, it's really, really important to do that. And it's possible to do it. Members of Congress don't spend all of their time in DC. They, if, they're doing their job correctly. They should be here more often, frankly, than in D.C. Uh, we don't. Woo! We don't have session year round. We do have more than 100 session days a year, but um, we are probably back in our districts about 55, 60 percent of the time. Now it's true that when we come back, we have families, and, and we have to spend um, some time with our families as well. Um, but there's no reason we can't make time. And um, for example, I have the longest voting streak in all of the house. I've never missed a vote. Four, 4,225 votes in a row. Just too many votes. <laughs> we shouldn't be voting that much. But I, I, have, uh, 
I have the longest voting streak and I'm able to make it back here to do town hall, so I'm sure that congressmen around the country should be able to do that as well. One of the things I really ailing our country right now is partisanship. It's been a problem for a long time, but it's getting worse. And when people get really partisan, uh, we uh, tend to lose sight of the facts. And this happens on both sides of the aisle. I um, have constituents on the left and the right, and people who are constituents on the left and the right who might message me on Twitter or Facebook. And uh, a lot of times it seems like the facts of situations don't matter anymore. People are tending to believe what they want to believe and ignoring the rest. And I think it's important that we um, focus on the facts. Stop worrying about whether we're Democrats or Republicans. Mm -hmm. um, stop, worrying, stop worrying about whether a Democrat did something or a Republican did something. Um, there are a lot of reasons to be concerned about things in Washington right now. Um, but there are also a lot of reasons <laughs> when Democrats had full control of Washington as well. So, so the, uh, there we go with the partisanship. So the, that's no, the there were good things done. <laughs> the, <laughs> there are many things that um, are hurting our country that are bipartisan in nature. And I've seen it. Our, our civil liberties haven't been protected by either side of the aisle. Mm -hmm. Many of the things that um, we're concerned about today on the civil liberties front were also pushed under previous administrations, both Democratic and Republican, and pushed by Democrats and Republicans in Congress. So we shouldn't think of it as a um, partisan issue. Actually, you have people in Washington who are working together to undermine your rights. and. Um, that's a real shame. I mean, that's one of the reasons I got into office was to deal with those issues and uh, to try to show that there was a different way, that we didn't have to be so partisan, that we could be independent and uphold the Constitution, uh, protect the rule of law, protect people's rights. So let me talk um, briefly about uh, one issue that's up where I think a lot of people have the facts um, wrong on both sides and that's the immigration 